Waking up happy Pi Day. It's all about celebrating Pi, P-I. We thank Einstein for that. And we are celebrating with the Pi Commission. Yeah, what's up, Chef? <laughs> we have morning. got Chef Owen Sokolowski, <laughs> Chef of the Pi Commission. All they do, guys, is bake pies, fresh pies, frozen pies. You serve fries, a salad with it, up to six varieties a day. Yeah. And, and you also have a specialty. Yeah, we change it up. Like so, this weekend there's no mathematical uh, pie, <laughs> so we went with Irish. So, sort of a loose-based Irish stew, which I'm showing you here. So you start with the, the beef. Yeah, any kind of beef you want, just any stewing meat or whatever. Okay. So this is the sort of advanced version. If you can, you have the standard crock pot. How long but do you brown it for on each side? Tell it's brown. So that's it. It's depending on all depending on your gear. So just have everything browned off, simple, and then we are all adding in all our vegetable little by little. Let's talk about it. You've got some beef. And anything you want that we have. So in whatever you want. So a stew is whatever you have. Typical potato you want. If you don't want potato, you got beef instead. You have carrot, onion, leek. All the typical stuff that goes there. Okay, and what is this gelatinous mold you have going on? That will be a stock. So if you have, um, if you won't have access to this obviously, so you can buy any kind of stock. Chicken. Beef. Chicken stock works just as well with this, as long as you have some beer or wine. And I love, by the way, it says uh, the Pie Commission Bloody Good Pies. You offer so many varieties, for example, braised beef rib, beef and beer, butter chicken. Chicken cheddar bacon mash, vegalicious for the vegans and the veggies out there. And like you said, the seasonal, the seasonal. specialty. So right now, you're going to teach me how to make the pie. What's the secret to your delicious thin crust, okay. flaky crust? Well, the secret is because it's an all butter crust. So oh, all we need here okay, is so a little bit of flour little... and just roll it out to about that. Gotcha. Sorry. How many pies do you bake a day, Chef? Uh, it can go anywhere from 300 to 500. Wow. And you said you only have about four um, in dining chairs. So people really, they come to your restaurant. Come in and they take it to go. Take it to go or you can sit or you can sit in your car. And if it's frozen, how long does it take to cook that bad boy? Because you're closed on Sundays. You just let it thaw out in your fridge overnight if you have that option. If you do not, just let it thaw out maybe an hour or two. And then uh, 35 minutes in the oven. How'd I, how'd I do, Chef? Not bad, not, not bad. Not too shabby, right? A little short in the edge. Oh, a little but, short. Um, what else? It's for TV, Chef. Okay, now, what's okay. this contraption? <laughs> so, now, that would go into the bottom there. a critic. You know what I'm saying, Chef? <laughs> <laughs> so, that would go into the bottom there. Okay. Now. Oh, I see. Right. Well, you got to wait to get a lid. So now, after this would be done, you would do that. Have it turned. Yep. Now, how long would you braise the beer. it in the slow cooker? Everyone's crock pot is a different one. Uh, this one, maybe uh, eight hours. So have this in the morning. Look how good this looks. Right. And your secret ingredient is I love a good pun. This beer or port is called. Harry Porter. It is. Where did you get it from? Well, we're neighbors to Great Lakes Brewery, so they have this going on as their version of a, sort of a, a porter anyway. So why does the port go so well with the beef? Uh, it's very beefy. It goes with the beer and meat, obviously, are good together. So here, we just put that in like that. You let it evaporate. Right. And then add in your veg after, and we have our delightful stock. If you'd like to, um, Check the texture of this. Yes. And I'm going to cut some of it. You want me to check the texture? How do I check the texture of this? Give it a little. How's your problem? Oh, right? check that out. Isn't that kind of cool? It's kooky? interesting. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to top up the pie. Now, how much filling goes in so that You'd we don't. You'd be surprised. Ruin it's surprisingly little. Surprisingly <laughs> little? Yes. Oh, You've got too it. much. That's too Gen much. Too generous much. Generous portion. Way what too much. What are you much. doing to me, Chef? This is what's good. So if you have a leftover <laughs> stew, okay. you could always do this. Okay. And what is in the uh, vegetarian? I'm curious. Vegetarian is uh, kale, carrots, broccoli, mm -hmm. uh, millet, millet, tomato, and uh, goat cheese, okay. and basil. Very nice. Yeah. It's easy as pie. <laughs> Quite frankly, thepiecommission.com, you are located at the Queensway and Islington? Islington and Queensway. We're kind of hidden. We're in the back, but uh, there's signs all over the place. You'll find us. And you look for people carrying pie. And I love these little individual portions. And you said the owners themselves always used to enjoy 
pie in Europe. Absolutely. Yeah. And they said there's no place here that does it as a specialty. You do also offer up sweet ones, but it's so nice to have a com it's comfort food. Right? It is comfort food, and it's great all year round. Thepiecommission.com for more information. Go get that pie. We'll be back with more BT right after this. We didn't actually top it, no. so you did you did the same thing. Right? Yeah, you just put a top on it. Yeah.